Hey, what's going on everybody? David here and welcome back to another Blu-ray Buyer's Guide. If you guys are new to this channel and don't know what a Blu-ray Buyer's Guide is, uh, essentially a studio will release various versions of a certain title uh, and sometimes retailers will release exclusive versions of that same title. My job, my service to you guys is to pick up as many of those as I can and show them to you so that way whenever you walk into that store, you're ready to make an informed purchase. Today's Blu-ray Buyer's Guide is going to be for Coco. One of my favorite movies of last year. Uh, fantastic Pixar movie. Um, if you guys want the full rundown, a full review, my thoughts on this movie. Um, I did unbox uh, this version in a previous video. You guys can check that out if you like. And I'll link it in the description uh, below to make it a little easier. But anyway, uh, we're going to start off today with the Blu-ray copy, which like I said, I already unboxed. So we'll just kind of run through it really quick. Um, really nice embossing here on uh, the logo. Really nice. And love the artwork. Love that, like, kind of foil look to the artwork there. Looks really, really cool. Uh, again, like always, not a fan of, of that and that up there, really. But um, what can you do? Anyway, here goes the back. If you guys don't know what it's about. And you can check out some of the special features as well. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open real quick. Okay, so here goes, let me see here. Okay, there are three discs involved, so just so you know, so you guys don't overlook it. Uh, the uh, Here goes the uh, Blu-ray bonus features over here. This is the Blu-ray movie, the actual feature itself, and then the DVD copy underneath. Uh, what I did like about just, just even the standard Blu-ray is that three different disc arts. Really nice disc arts, too. Really cool. Um, so, yeah, and then here goes the front back and spine for the standard copy standard blu-ray copy of coco which is out now from walt disney studios home entertainment all right so let's uh go ahead and take a look at the 4k copy here of coco you see here there is a slight differences uh between the standard blu-ray and the 4k uh we don't get you know that whole uh multi multi-screen edition up on top you can see there does have that black right across the top, which look actually looks really nice. I kind of dig it uh, more so than the than the silvery look. And then the other thing that I thought was really cool, usually it's the opposite way, but um, as you can see here, the 4K copy is embossed all the way. All the characters are embossed, the guitar, all that stuff. You see there, and the logo is embossed as well. Um, and the standard Blu-ray copy, it was just the title that was embossed. Usually, what I've seen in the past is that they will emboss the hell out of uh, the, the standard Blu-ray. And then the 4K copy will just be flat. You know? So, that's really nice that they have some really good embossing um, on this 4K copy. And you check out the, the special features on this one as well. Really nice in the back. Different, different backing than the standard Blu-ray copy as well. So that's really neat. I like this one. It's really cool. And then let's pop this open. So it does come with digital copy. And let's see here. And here we go. The Blu-ray. Uh, movie here, Blu-ray special features, and then the 4K copy. Let's, let's see if I can flip it up. The 4K copy on this side, and once again, you know, all different disc art, even the 4K copy. That's really nice. All right, really, really cool. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for the 4K Ultra HD copy of Coco. Really nice. I, I, re I really liked watching it in 4K too. It was really cool. Um, it, for some reason, it's just it lends itself 4K lends itself really nicely to uh, to animated features for the most part. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here, and that's going to be the Target exclusive for Coco. You see here, it does have it says includes filmmaker gallery and storybook. All right. Okay, so yeah, all right, so right off the bat, 
really nice cover art here. Love this. Dig that a lot. It's actually the same as the back over here for the standard Blu-ray. Really nice though. I like it. And then here goes the back here. Special features as well. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this open. And I will say though, um, if you're looking to to get um, this uh, this Target exclusive, get it while you can. I hit up uh, three three Targets, and for some odd reason, the Targets in my area, they only literally got like three in, um, and people were leaving. People were walking out very disappointed. Um, so I would say, you know, if you're looking to get this, get it now while you can. Um, all right, so there goes. Does have this really cool jade card? Nice. Okay, cool. Man, I dig this. All right, so we get a bigger, a better view of the of the book itself. Really nice artwork up here on top. Love that. And then here goes the back, which is really nice as well. Oh man, I love this. And it basically it comes in its in its own slipcover. That's really neat. This is something I've never really, I don't think I've ever seen before. That's really cool. Awesome. All right. So, and then here goes the front cover. And then the back here. And this isn't, um, I mean, they're, they're, it's not like the typical digi book that you would find. It's not really like in book form. Um, I can't remember the, the what it's called, but it's like this trifold. Type of thing. Looks really nice. I love the artwork on it. Just the artwork I just fell in love with with everything having to do with this movie. Just I think it's I think it's the colors. <laughs> I, honestly I think it's the colors that really like attract me to it. Uh and it just pops. It pops really well. Uh alright, so it does come with digital copy. And then oh, okay, cool. Well th this is interesting. It's not like the typical storybook, uh, you know, digibooks that you would find at Target. It comes with an actual separate, uh, separate book. This is a what, gallery book, and then the storybook is on the other side. Okay, cool. Nice. I won't, I won't spoil too much of it for you, just in case you know. Obviously, you you want to be surprised for yourself. Really nice, nice photos. And the, the pages are nice and glossy. There's, there's something about the feel of them that is just it's really cool. Okay. Yeah, more storybook. And then the other side has a lot of, uh, wow, this is really neat. A lot of artwork, a lot of concept art and things like that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just so cool. All right. Nice, nice. Really, really cool. I, th I think this is a really cool uh, little extra, you know, incentive in this uh, in this set here. All right. And then, let's see here. Let's take a look at the discs. Much like the other ones. Um, does have, obviously, the three discs. And, let's see if I can turn this around. And then all, all three different disc arts. You can see there. Nice, really nice. Although I, I do wish that it, it was like the the usual you know storybook that we would get uh, from Target from Disney Target exclusives. Um, this is really nice though. I, I'm I'm I think I'm digging this, um, and I think you know this isn't the typical type of movie, you know. So I think it calls for something a little unique. Anyway, all right. So here you go. Here goes the uh, Target exclusive for Coco. Which again is out now, and I would suggest, highly suggest, going running out and picking one up if you're even remotely interested in in grabbing it, because um, it seems like they're going to be gone, and um, you don't want to be left disappointed. Uh, last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Coco as well. Beautiful, beautiful artwork already right here on the cover. Um, Let's go ahead and just open this up because I'm 
kind of antsy to, to check this out because I already see something that I really like about it. Let's see here. All right, so it does have this J card on there. And it actually, it actually has a, a bottom there, which is really nice because it'll it'll protect the, the bottom of the steelbook when you put it on your shelf. It's really really cool. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the front here. What I like already, what I saw immediately that grabbed my eye was the debossing in the in the logo here, the title. Love that. There's something about you know embossing is really nice a lot of the times. But there's something really, really neat and, and cool and uh, just unique about debossing that really uh, interests me. You see that really nice, nice depth to it, too. And even like in the logo, like the guitars, things like that. Really, really nice. And like I said, I love the artwork. Very traditional uh, Dia de los Muertos type of, uh, you know, stylized artwork, which is really cool. Love it. And I love the, the head of the guitar there. All right. And in the back here, really nice as well. A little bit of everything there. See Miguelito <laughs> right there in the front. Nice. Okay, let's open this up. It does come with digital copy. All right. And much like the others, it does come with the three discs. Three different disc arts. All right. Nice. Now let's take a look at the interior artwork. Uh, I'm curious about this. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful artwork in the, in the inside there. And like I said, there's something about just the colors that they use. Uh, you know, when, when doing uh, promotional photos and stuff like that, just the movie itself in general is very, very colorful. And it, it just, it just grabs me so, so much, so quick. Also catches my attention, catches my eye. Love it. And then here goes the front, back and spine for the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of Coco out now. Um, this is another one. I, I did see more of these than I did see of the Target exclusives. Um, so I would say, you know, if you're interested in, if you're a still book collector, um, go out and grab one, um, as soon as you can, because it does seem like they're, they are going to go. There was, like I said, I, I went to three Best Buys and, um, they all seem to have a, a decent amount of stock, but nothing like, you know, extreme. Um, so definitely go out and pick one of these up. Um, all right. So for my personal pick, as far as, uh, it goes, like I said, I, I really liked, you know, the standard Blu-ray, uh, but the thing that impressed me the most about the 4K was the embossing on the slipcover. Really nice. Um, the Target exclusive, I really like the Target exclusive, but uh, there was something about the uh, just the fact that it's not the typical storybook is what uh, I guess bothered me the most, but it is really nice as well. I think I'm gonna have to give it to the Steelbook. Uh, like I said, you know, the Steelbook does have some really nice uh, debossing there on the front. I think this is the perfect thing, uh, perfect pick. So there you have four different versions of Coco. Which one are you guys gonna pick up? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, let's go ahead and do a giveaway for two digital copies of Coco. All you have to do is comment down below and let me know uh, what's your favorite moment in the movie. What's your favorite scene or uh, favorite song for that matter. Just comment down below and I'm going to pick two random winners on Friday at 10 p.m. Central Time. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you guys dug it or found it informative in any way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time.